Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Pisces reading for March 12th to the 13th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Pisces out there. This is not going to be every single Pisces story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And I still have some of these crystal chakra bracelets available. They're linked in my Etsy. Well, they're linked in on my YouTube channel in the community tab where you'll find my Etsy link. And they are $25 because, well, I got them imported from Brazil. So it's not $25 for any reason, but for no reason. Okay, so Pisces, March 12th to the 13th, 2021 Pisces. You versus them. Okay, Pisces, so you might be dealing with someone where it's like a never-ending ego battle. You know, you guys, it's like a power struggle. You know, it's like a lot of jealousy, a lot of, you know, just a lot of triggers, a lot of just, it's never ending. You know, it's like you guys are never ending dealing with each other where it's like, yeah, but it looks like things are changing here, Pisces. Um, breathe. You're starting to relax more about this situation and about this person, you know. You could be like always trying to work things out with them and it just never seems to work. Yeah, the thinker. And you, yeah, I feel like you're, you're starting to let go. You're starting just to think about things right now. And here with the 37, that's a 10 when you add 3 plus 7 together. So that's a completion of a cycle here, okay? And you could be thinking about it here where in the center, um, this person is wanting to maybe work with you uh, in some sort of team or like friendship, business partnership. It doesn't have to be a relationship, you know? And here with the fates, you know, um, the fates to me is kind of like um, you guys are meant to have, like meant to be together almost. Yeah, but I feel like it's a never ending story where this person is probably always chasing other people, other things. And, you know, you're always just bending over backwards for them. But I feel like you guys are very compatible for each other. Um, and right now, I, you know, you could be just trying to go with the flow. Yeah, you could be trying to use your intuition. Um, and it, your intuition could be telling you, you know, that things are not finished. That you guys have to fix things. You guys have to mend things. But right now, there's a fork in the road. You know, there's a decision to make. So, let's see. Pisces. March 12th to the 13th, 2021. Pisces. March 12th to the 13th, 2021, Pisces. One more shuffle, Pisces. Let's try that again. March 12th to 13th, Pisces. Wow, Jesus. Please. Can I please? March 12th to the 13th, Pisces. Let me talk to you. <laughs> um, yeah, the Tower card. Wow, major transitions. Major transition, things blowing up, things being rebuilt, taming the beast, you see? Yeah, because this lady, it's like, you know, there could be like toxic situations here and that could be kind of being tamed right now. Um, yeah, because, you know, there's love being brought into this situation. So let's see, Pisces. Yeah, you could be wanting a commitment with this person, but, you know, they're very sneaky with that Seven of Swords, very shady towards you, and it's kind of like you reap what you sow with that Seven of Pentacles, you know, it's like as much as you want to invest in this, it's like, you know, they're lying, they're a liar, and that could kind of be why you're, like, stuck, and we have, um, here, wow, we have Seven, Seven, and there's a whole bunch of Seven, 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 and Seven, and what 777 means is you are in perfect alignment and ready to receive. Keep an eye out for universal offering and opportunities that seem to appear out of nowhere. These have been sent for you. Yeah, honestly, you have to be open to receiving love in order to get it or it will pass you by. You know, if you're in this jealousy, you know, toxic energy, you'll miss it. You will miss it. But with the face here, you know, I feel like your person is being very patient. You know, um, because they're working on this um, lack. You know, they could, you know, maybe they don't have enough money right now. Um, they don't feel good enough. You know, whether it's in looks, appearance, you know, appearance financially, you know, um, just they don't feel good enough. And this is something that they're working on. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This is something that is being walked away from. Yeah, so you could be wanting a commitment with this person. There's a lot of feelings here, but there was just a lot of lies. So you're just holding back. You're holding back. You know, you could be choosing to spend time and money on yourself. 
And like I tell people, self-care is not selfish. I mean, it can make other people feel like you're being selfish, but it's like, hey, what's wrong with me loving me? Sorry, I'm not loving, putting all that love on you. You know, who's going to love me if I love you so much, you know? And so with that six of pentacles, you're probably very giving to this person. And don't ever feel bad for being a good person and giving so much. It always comes back tenfold. Again, yeah, this person is, you know, they're they're working on their happiness right now, on being happy. Um, I feel like because you're so loving that, you know, they just don't feel good enough. You know, they're here like, wow, Pisces is so forgiving, so loving, and I just don't deserve that. And so with this full card, you know, once they work on their issues, I feel like they're going to jump right into this. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be, well, it seems like a commitment here. Um, but that might, well, let's, I'll get into it. Yeah, I feel like this person's actually single. They're seeing you happily single. And they could kind of have some guilt towards that. Um, you know, this was a challenge for them because of their ego. Yeah, you guys could be dealing with twin flames or a marriage with that four of wands and um, hierophant there. But I feel like um, they're starting to focus on this relationship, on making things better, making things balanced. And this could be something that you brought into the reality um, because you miss them. You know, you're thinking about them and our thoughts are powerful. So let's see. Pisces, uh, what's that moon card? You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Pi another Pisces. March 12th to the 13th, Pisces, 2021, March 12th to the 13th, Pisces. Yeah, so what's the moon card? Nine of Pentacles, Pisces, March 12th to the 13th, 2021. So I feel like they might be wanting to put in some effort towards this or prove it to you that things can get better between you guys. Um, what's the four of Pentacles, Pisces, March 12th. Yeah, but you see, you guys could have had a family with this person, and they were just very sneaky, very shady, Pisces. Um, with that Four of Pentacles, you know, because you've been holding back, I feel like they've been working on themselves. Meanwhile, in this time that you've been holding back, you know, withdrawing your energy from them, you've been doing a lot of shadow work. Shadow work is like working on issues that you bury inside you and you don't work on. You know, it's not necessarily bad things. It's just things you don't work on, like abandonment issues, codependency issues, um financial issues just issues you know working jealousy issues ego issues um and i feel like right now you're kind of stuck in the middle should i should i not with the nine of cups i feel like you're emotionally independent what's the nine of cups um you've been taking care of yourself what's the nine of cups? and you know you've been probably wishing for them to message you oops Oh, there you go. I was like, where is it? You probably have been wishing for them to message you because you've been so focused on taking care of yourself. But I feel like right now, you know, there's judgment here. You know, they could be judging themselves and you could be judging the situation, judging yourself. Like, oh, I'm stupid for giving so much to them. Because, you know, there was other people involved. But um, I feel like, you know, that's being blown up because what's not built on a firm foundation will crumble. So I feel like that's being blown up here. Meanwhile, for your person, uh, what's the five of pentacles for your person? Yeah, they realize now, like, that maybe you're out of their league. And this is something that they're kind of becoming at peace with, you know, that they can be happy with you. Yeah, but they're walking away from certain things in order to have this partnership with you or maybe even be boyfriend or girlfriend with you. But you see with the Two of Swords right now, their heart is too closed off and um, this is a challenge for them, okay? So uh, with the Emperor card, this could be like a baby daddy, um, someone who is a dad, someone who either wants to be the dad of your kids, you wanted them to be the dad of your kids, you know, but, you know, take that how it resonates. But, you know, I feel like the problem here is that they, they pretend not to care. And that's actually quite toxic. You know, they have a lot of addictions. Uh, but this is a soul connection here, okay? 
So with that lover's card, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn or even an Aries, someone who's a manager even. Uh, let's see what this full card is though. It's a full card for Pisces. Um, yeah, I mean, they're still hopeful that, you know, once they walk away and they have this better perspective on life and once they heal and they change their mind, that you guys can happen again. So they're still optimistic about this, even though that there's really no growth from this right now. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Ooh, temperance card. Temperance card. Yeah, you see, and they're wanting to message you, Pisces. So you might get a message from this person, um, someone that, you know, wants a long-term relationship with you. Uh, you would probably, might get a message from them. Because, you know, Queen of Cups, you've been nothing but loving towards them. Yeah, they're going to message you with that Two of Wands. They plan on it. They're going to. What's the Temperance card? They keep wanting to talk about this, about this message. Yeah, they want to message you something to smooth things out. You know, um, I feel like they were very toxic in the past. They had a lot of demons. And this is something that they've, you know, kind of put a cap on and they've worked on. What's the Temperance card for Pisces? Yeah, just be patient. I feel like you've waited a long time. They've been waiting for you to message. But I feel like, you know, they're about to just, okay, fine. I'm going to message Pisces then. You know, because you haven't really messaged them. So I feel like, you know, they're waiting on you. And because you haven't made a, a move, you know, they're going to message you. So Pisces, March 12th to the 13th, 2021. March 12th to the 13th, 2021, Pisces. Yeah, this was a past life relationship, you know. You have known each other before. So, you know, maybe when you guys met, you guys just kind of clicked. And it's because, you know, you guys have known each other in another lifetime. See, in the past, you guys could have gotten married or even discussed marriage. Way over here, my cards like to follow past, present, future. In the past, you guys might have even discussed marriage or gotten married. But, you know, there was just, pay attention to the red flags. I feel like this person might not be ready yet because they're still too closed off, okay? Um, and this person has to be more romantic and show you that they care in order for this to be to smooth out. You know, this person could be wanting to go to the beach or something, you know, some sort of lake, river, some sort of um, travel with water. They could be wanting to do that with you. But, you know, in the past... Um, you guys needed to stay optimistic and um, chemistry. There's, you know, upside down. So there might not be a strong magnetic attraction here anymore. You know, I feel like um, with this here, you know, you kind of pulled back. You know, before you were probably very drawn to this person. And now you pulled back. So in the past, you pulled back and you just chose to stay optimistic. But currently, can I get a card for currently Pisces, March 12th, 13th, please? Um, you know, they need to love themselves first and they need to learn how to forgive you. I feel like, you know, there's see codependency. There's just a lot of codependency here and, and that needs to be healed. The codependency needs to be healed. The addictions need to be healed, whether it's substance addictions, uh, money addictions, addictions from attention from other people, you know, just all that needs to be healed and they need to learn how to love themselves first um, that's kind of where they're at right now is learning how to love themselves first, you know, not to care about what other people think, to just care about what only they think. And I feel like, you know, they want to talk to you right now. They're learning how to forgive the past. And once they do that, you know, they, they're able to have more love in the present moment. You know, maybe they were holding grudges on you, things you did in the past. You see, it says, give your relationship a chance, Pisces, uh, with this nine of pentacles here. They could be reaching out to you. Um, again, this could have been something that you've been wishing for, for them to message you because you've been working on yourself. And with this, give your relationship a chance. You know, if, if you love something, you know the saying, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it was always yours. Exactly, Pisces. Exactly. So give it a chance. If, if there's still, um, let's see what that red flag is real quick before I let you guys go. What's the pay attention to red flags for Pisces? Yeah, there's still some secrets here, okay? Uh, could be another Pisces or a Cancer. That's a secret. 
Um, so try not to put in too much effort. Continue to love yourself first. I feel like this will be a start of a loving relationship, but you need to focus on yourself, okay? Um, you might be fighting yourself as well because the situation has you very stressed. But again, I feel like this person is not really ready yet, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, there's still codependency issues here that need to be worked on before you guys can move this forward. So they probably rely a lot on you to make them happy or vice versa. And that needs to be healed before you guys can be in a healthy relationship, okay? It's a very selfish thing to depend on someone to make you happy and to make you, um, you could also be dealing with the Virgo, or, but that's a very selfish thing, you know, to expect someone to do everything for you. You don't want someone that's half a person and half a person, then it's codependent and toxic. You want something that's whole and complete by themselves, you two whole and complete by yourself, then you can come together, help each other out, it's healthy and it's balanced, you know? Then it's, it's you guys can complement each other and it's beneficial. But alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out there. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, you might just be only thinking like, should I, should I not? But hey, you know, I feel like this person still has some stuff to heal before you guys can even work together as a team, you know? Uh, much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.